here we have another algebraic equation to solve. In this format, we are given a fraction. Yes, it's a fraction. When you have, and it's a vulgar fraction, it's, an, it's going to be an improper vulgar fraction. When you have a numerator and a denominator, it is a vulgar fraction. It is a fraction. It's not a whole. When you have a denominator and a numerator, it is a vulgar fraction. It is not a whole. In this particular case, we are given 5a divided by c, or over c. How do we find that now? The first thing we need to do is to find the value of those variables, which we are given. 5, what's the value of a? 2 over c, what's the value of c? 5. So we have 5 times 2 over 5. 5 times 2 equal what? 10 over 5. We can't leave it like that because we never leave our answer as an improper fraction. An improper fraction is going to equal to 1 or more than 1. All right, the value of the improper fraction is going to be 1 or more than 1. In this particular case, we are going to find how many times the denominator can go in the numerator. 5 into 10 goes 2 times. And your answer is going to be 2. Or if you want to write it out like this, 5 into 10, 5 into 10 give you 2. 2 times 5 equals 10. 10 from 10, 0. So we never leave our answers an improper fraction here. If you leave it like this, it is not correct. All right? An improper fraction, the value of the improper fraction is always going to be 1 or more. In this case, it's more than 1 because it is 2. So we say 5 into 10, give us 2. Never leave, and I repeat it, never leave your answer as an improper fraction. Right? You always turn it into a mixed number or just a whole number by itself. All right?